Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to the Creative Council. My name is Natasha and today we're going to be discussing what does it mean when you're kissing or someone is kissing you in a dream. So in a dream, if you're kissing someone or someone's kissing you, it's going to represent uh, either, usually it's going to represent coming into agreement or uh, coming into a covenant with someone on the positive side. Um, and Or it can represent affection and love as well. Uh, but usually it's typically going to be that agreement and covenant kind of thing. On the negative side is going to represent seduction, um, maybe uh, enticement or some type of deception or betrayal, specifically betrayal from someone who's close to you, a friend or a companion, someone you really trust. So on the negative side, it could be a representation of that. So I would like to say too, even on the positive side, even though it could, rem it could, it could mean covenant or agreement, that could be a good or bad thing. So if you're having a dream where you're, you have a dream where you're kissing your friend, like you kiss your friend on the cheek or on the hand or something like that. Um, and there's other elements that play into it. That could just be a sign of affection and love or the agreement or the friendship covenant of friendship you guys have. So if you're having dreams about people who are currently in your life, that could be your that could be a representation of, um, like I said, covenant or agreement, and it necessarily may not be a bad thing. However, if you're having dreams about you constantly kissing someone or being kissed by someone who you don't know, meaning a faceless person, person, which means basically someone, a guy who you never met in real life, is always kissing you in a dream or you know passionately kissing and caressing you, that is going to be a significant sick that's going to signify that that might be a, you have a spirit spirit spouse or there may be a soul tie there that is not necessarily godly because you shouldn't be kissing someone you don't know all the time in the dream so or if it's someone from your past who is literally physically they have passed on or passed away or they're in a, married to someone else or they're an ex or somebody and you're constantly having dreams of them or you're kissing them and they're kissing you or you're having sex with them all the time, that's going to be a representation of a masquerading spirit, which basically it puts on the face of someone, but it's actually a familiar spirit. And the whole objective of that is to, like I said, kissing is coming into agreement, coming into a covenant with someone or something so that something can be uh, f fulfilled. The whole object of, a, of agreement and a per uh, covenant is for purpose, whether that be good or bad. So you shouldn't be having sex in a dream. I'll do another video on that as well, just because that that's a whole nother um, topic within itself. But kissing specifically, that's going to be a representation if you're always kissing someone, constantly kissing someone you don't know, or constantly kissing someone from your past who is in reality in a relationship with someone else or married or they've died or they're just they're not in your life anymore that's going to be a familiar spirit or a masquerading spirit and the whole objective is for them to renew a covenant or keep a covenant or agreement so that they can continue to carry out their plan in your life which is always to kill still the short it's always going to be the plan of the enemy that's his nature it just is what it is now you, someone may say, well, how can you say that, you know, that's a familiar spirit or masquerading spirit? Well, then you want to look at the fruit of your life. Typically, if you're someone who consistently have a dream about your kissing or having sex with someone all the time, then in real life, you really don't necessarily always, you're not advancing in a relationship or there's always issues in a relationship or you're always attracting a type of person and the relationship never reaches its full potential, it always ends, you either end up always breaking up with someone, someone is always breaking up with you, you always attract a certain type of person who is either, you know, whether if you have a Jezebelic tendency, they're always, you know, really submissive to you or very, um, uh, very uh, not confrontation, not, not that they need to be confrontational, but you, you dominate them basically, or they dominate you very, uh, a narcissistic personality. So it's, it, it will manifest in your real life that's how you know so if you're having these dreams all the time the manifestation is going to be a reality in your life of the failed relationships 
fail, you know, even marriages. And I'm not trying to condemn anyone. I'm just saying that these are spiritual issues that need to be dealt with so that you can live to the fullest, your fullest potential that God wants you to. So if you're having these kind of dreams all the time, you're going to want to go through some level of deliverance and ask the Lord what the roots are, what the doors are that are open in your life and how you can close those doors and break agreement and break covenant with those spirits and with those um, entities. Because if you don't, like I said in previous videos, everything in a dream is pending in the spirit. So it's happening in the spirit. But if you don't deal with it, it will deal with you. Anything you don't deal with will deal with you. And if you don't take care of it, it will take care of you, basically. And I'm not trying to say that to scare you. I'm trying to say that to encourage you to get free and to seek the Lord so that you can go through that process of deliverance and healing. And there's nothing to be ashamed about, you know, if you need to get deliverance or healing. Because we're all, at some levels, everyone should be going through deliverance, I think, every six months. Just because you go through life and you get the soot and residue of life on you just by going through life and just dealing with people and just, you know, being here. So it's not a bad thing. But that is to say, just reevaluate your dreams if you're always kissing someone, especially if you're always having sex. And I'll do a sex video next. But if you're constantly having sex in your dreams with people you don't know or a person you don't know or a guy you don't know, then you have a spirit spouse. Um, and usually, I, I'll go into another video because I don't want this to be too long. But anyways, uh, so yeah, on the positive side, it's going to be covenant, agreement, affection and love. Um, that could be good or bad. And then on the negative side, just out flat, you know, if someone's coming up to you, just passionately kissing you. That's like a spirit of seduction. Someone trying to entice you, a deception, betrayal, um, specifically from someone close. So it just depends on the other elements. Um, but I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If this video has been helpful, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, be healed, be whole, be free. Bye.